There may be a lot of visually appealing work here at the Kenny Hill Sculpture Garden, but what makes it really fascinating is the history of the art and the artist himself. He's from Springfield, Louisiana, which is up between like Hammond and Baton Rouge. He was married, he had three kids, but he divorced his wife and he moved down here in the 80s. Um, he struck a deal with the landowner so he could stay on the land. It was just a verbal agreement. After having settled onto the property in Chauvet, Louisiana, in 1990, Kenny Hill began sculpting many figures out of cement, each one having its own story. Much of his work reflects several different religious themes. This angel, she's looking at this hourglass made with two bottles, one on top of the other. Inside he built a cross, and she's crying because time is running out. While most of Kenny Hill's work was religious, that's not all that inspired him. Kenny was sleeping and he had a dream, and in his dream he was cold. And this girl came to him in his dream and gave him a blanket, and the next morning he built this sculpture for her. One of Kenny Hill's most significant pieces, however, would be the 45-foot tall tower he built, containing cowboys, Indians, angels, the artist himself, and much more. The tower contains around 7,000 bricks, all from which he collected over time. Whenever he had bricks or anything left over, he would come here and he would add on to the garden. So you can see different patches of different colored bricks from different jobs that he had. You can see the halos on the angels' heads. He has, has those wired. As far as we know, they were never really hooked up. Though he may never have created the image of illuminated halos, Kenny Hill did create the illusion of his waterfall sculpture producing water. There's a pipe that goes up to the top. And down here there's this connection. You hook up the hose and turn the water on. The water will go up to the top and it'll come out of that slit and it'll land right here on the woman's chest. While very symbolic, Kenny Hill's work was not meant to be taken literally. In fact, Kenny Hill never explained what any of his pieces meant. He wanted others to create their own interpretations. The only thing made clear was that the garden was about life and living and everything he had learned. The parish eventually evicted Kenny Hill from the garden for not cutting the grass. With the landowner having passed away, there was no longer a verbal agreement to keep him on the property. Before he left inside of his house, he wrote, Hell is here, welcome, on the kitchen cabinets. He knocked the head off of Jesus' statue, and he just took off walking up the road with just the clothes on his back. Former head of the art department at Nichols State University, Dennis Saporsky, contacted the Kohler Foundation, which helps to preserve works of art. He asked for their assistance in keeping the sculptures from being torn down. Their donation allowed the sculptures to remain standing, and in 2002, it was open to the public for those interested in viewing Kenny Hill's works of art and learning of his story.